Hey everyone, me again. Um, just wanted to jump on to share a little shop update that I did. Um, I guess I'll put on the movie type on the video title um, <clears throat> that you can get this print on there now. <clears throat> um, I'll put this up on there. Like the this was a big uh, a big TIFF file I took of this to get the prints prints done, which I've uploaded where you can get prints and uh, and the framed prints online so you can still do that if you want on the fine art paper and everything sort of high quality prints or I was thinking as you so often is the way like I had this genius idea in the shower I thought oh maybe a way that I could um, make it so that stuff's affordable t to like more of a different um, price range for people like lower price ranges and then the, the regular uh, prints and stuff I can make sort of uh, a piece like this one. Um, I can put a digital download on there, which is what I've done. Like uh, I put a digital download on there for five. You, if you pay five pounds, then you get a a link emailed to you, and then you can download the. It's like a forty meg, like the the big, high quality un uncompressed TIFF file of that, <clears throat> uh, which I took on my camera, it's like a 26 megapixel camera, so it's a good quality image, and you can blow it up, I mean you could do it like A2, A1 if you wanted with that, with the, with the resolution, um, and I, I just thought that would be a good way, because um, at the price point, obviously when you have to sort of do all the postage and everything with the actual prints and the frames, not everyone could do that that price point so um, I was thinking like sort of five pounds is manageable for people um, and then I mean I, I don't know I guess it's best if people have, if you've got your own printer with a um, with the sort of good pigment inks and good paper and stuff obviously that's better isn't it but um, I guess you could just get like photo paper and print it out on there even if it's the cheap photo paper, I mean, if it, if it faded after a couple of years, we've got the file, haven't we? You can just print another one out. But um, it should come out looking... Because I know those, those photo paper prints usually come out looking good, but they just don't last so long. I think if you've got the file, you could... Uh, even just on normal paper, but I'm not sure how good it'll come out just on regular printer paper, but it's probably better off. Yeah, either getting, like... <clears throat> if you've got a proper printer, do it on that, or photo paper, it'll probably come out looking, uh, looking good. Um... Like I say, it's a nice, it's a big file. That, that's a big, big print as it is. So if you printed it out, it'd be really good quality. If you just pr printed it out A4, A3 or something, it's more than enough for that. But you can also blow it up. And um, it was just, I, I, I put it on and I was, um, I just looked into sort of taxes and things on digital products. And it's a bit, um, a bit tricky. I won't go into all the details on it for another video I guess a bit complicated and stuff but um, so I've, I've had to sort of turn off EU so I can't post it I can't do it into the EU but I've got it on there as um, UK and international at the moment so um, but just yeah just EU I had to untick on it so it's not available there but um, I'll pop the link below and yeah, that should take you straight to the uh, digital downloads page on my uh, website. <clears throat> and yeah, you don't have to sort of sign up to the newsletter or anything, but I think you, you go through to the cart and then you can just put an email address in. And I think there's, a, there's an option on there to... You can sign up to the newsletter if you want to get updates and things. You don't have to. It's a tick box. Um, and then you'll get sent a link and you can just download the, the file. Um and then I've set it so that you can just sort of download it once you've once you've uh, paid and got the link. Then you can you can download it as often as many times as you want. And um, and it's also a nice way to support me um, <clears throat> for people that can't afford the main prints and stuff. But you like what I'm doing. Um, it helped me to get my carry on, get supplies and stuff. So it's really it's actually really supporting me and helping. And um, I'm busy sort of putting my new that 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 
That's the reason I like that print. It kind of when I did that, it, it was kind of really felt like me and my kind of um, my method of doing things, my technique, just felt felt right for me. Like, and it's inspired. I started doing these portfolio pieces and it sort of inspired them like this is like a sort of smaller version of that really on a canvas um i've just got some of the acrylic base in there i've still got some more acrylics to go on there and you do it quite vivid to start with as like a base and then you it sort of mute it down a bit as you go but you start off quite bright otherwise it doesn't um show through so well so you start quite candy colored and bright to start with <clears throat> But I've gone with that sort of technique again with the sort of um, stencils and some spray paint and mm. acrylics and yeah. Like I said, that really feels like me. I think I'll start doing more stencils and things and um, in the future it'd be nice to sort of start making some of my own stencils and things and I think that'd be cool. And um, Yeah, so that's what I've been busy with today anyway, and I'll carry on doing that tomorrow. But I'm sort of piling things up a little bit because I'm still waiting for that um, oil paint medium to turn up. So when that turns up, I can um, I can start going over, and like this one, I've got the acrylics and spray paint and all that stuff in there, like a base layer, and I've got another one in the other room, I'll move that one away so I can work on that. Um, but yeah, I, need to, I still need to go over those with glazes and stuff over the top. <clears throat> but that one's got like a, it's got that gold pen, pen on there. I'll put some um, gold leaf on it as well, practicing with that. And I've done these ones are like a white drip pen, like a gold pen, but it's white. But then I can sort of glaze over the top and it'll give it a bit of colour. Um, so yeah, still a little bit to do on those, but... Um, I'm sort of liking how they're coming along and um like I'm enjoying this sort of method of working really. I was, I was surprised with it really. I wasn't I, I, I don't know, I just sort of just um connected with it really. It's just nice and freeing and I like the spray paint because it's kind of less controlled and then you sort of work with it as you go and um I like the sort of um gradations and things you can get with it and um like an atmospheric type look. Like these bits I sort of painted in and it was looking a bit blocky but then I sort of come in with a little bit of spray paint over the top and it kind of, um, it just sort of blends it slightly and then I'll come over the top of this again with more glazes and opaques and stuff and it should um, develop hopefully and come out nice and then, um, yeah, because I was doing this size one and then I was, I was going to do another larger one. So I've got 12 of each. So I'll do 12 this size and then I'll do 12 of the larger ones. So I'll probably do one of each a week, like one small, one large. Then um, get the oil paint layer on. Then it takes like a month. I have to really like, allow a month for it to dry before I can um, sign and varnish. And then I can get those up on the shop, the originals. Be nice. That would be a nice milestone, really, to get the first originals up on there. Um, I'm not sure if I want to get any of these paper ones up on there as original just yet. Um, I'll see. So things are these are these ones. I don't really want to start when you uh, see how people post them. They sort of roll them. I don't really want to roll these up. I'd rather. And then if I post them flat, I need to send them in like a, a big box, really, like I would with the other stuff. So I'll have a think about that. I might might get them up there. I just have to um, have to see. Maybe, but I guess I'll, I'll probably just end up getting the canvases up first and then start looking into other bits. Get the canvases up there for sale. <coughs> and um, what I was thinking with these ones, if, if people download that TIFF file and print it out, and if you put it on a wall in your house somewhere, um, you could um, share it on social media, because that'd be helping me out as well then, that'd be really cool, I'd appreciate that. And put like a, I'll put it below actually, like a tag, like a hashtag, um, so you know, like second second birth gang or something like that. I'll put something down below, and just put a hashtag on there. I think that'd be cool. So um, I think it'd be be nice both ways, wouldn't it? Because you can get a nice nice piece of artwork that you can, um, well, you print out or get it printed 
I guess rather than having to have it posted and stuff, whatever you can do. Um, and then I get a bit of bit of support back coming in, <clears throat> and, uh, and it makes it accessible to more people. I just thought it was it was good from a lot of angles that way. So um, I don't know if you guys have got any other ideas, things I could try. It's all it, a lot of it's new to me, so um, not really done the whole e-commerce thing before, but. Um, None of the, none of the whole sort of marketing and salesy salesy stuff comes naturally to me really. But when I look online at it and you look at um, what they tell you to do and it's just like I don't know I don't like a lot of it. It's, it's treating people like walking wallets, isn't it? Like you get people in and then you've got to try and convince them to buy this and upsell them and funnel them into. I don't want to get into all that. I just want to have a website up and um, if people like it, then go on there and buy stuff. <laughs> I don't really want to go funneling people in and getting people to buy stuff they don't really want but it's just manipulation isn't it a lot of it marketing and stuff I don't like it really but I guess I'm in that world now I need to sort of find some ways to make a living out of, out of doing this but I don't um, I don't want to do it in a way that I don't know it's just like it's like tricking people and stuff isn't it trying to manipulate and um, uh it's like they're sort of like these marketing agencies and stuff, don't they? They um they sort of research human behaviour and stuff, don't they? And um they sort of play on that. They know like um certain certain things get certain reactions out of people and how human behaviour works and stuff, but <clears throat> um Anyway, I think that was it really. It was just a quick video really. I was just going to pop the link below and um, I just thought that idea sort of worked all round really. It's a nice low price point piece of art that people could buy, uh, sort of accessible to anyone. Um, I guess if you if if that, if, even if the £5 is uh, an issue for anyone out there, um, just let me know and I'll see if there's anything I can do. I just, I do want it to sort of, I want my everyone to be able to get a piece of art from me no matter what sort of circumstances and stuff. But I do work at the same time. I want to sort of block out all these sort of scammer types that just take advantage and... I um, don't know if that's really possible, but try my best. And, um, I think that was it, really. I'll keep you updated with... Like I said, I've busy, been making videos of these ones. I'll get those uploaded when they're finished. And um, once I get the oil on them and... Um, as I make these um, portfolio pieces, I'll um, let you know about those. And um, um, I guess what I guess I'll get prints of those put up as I make them, um, and then like the other stuff I've done, I'll, I'll just um, get originals up there a little bit later once they're ready and varnished and all that. Um, Sorry if I keep repeating myself. I just um, I don't like coming on with scripted videos and stuff. I just like to sort of just talk to the camera, try and be natural with it. But it just means I end up babbling a bit. But I think that's still better than sort of scripted stuff. And uh, maybe I should have a bit more sort of bullet points I should work through or something. I tried that in the last one and end up still going off at a tangent. But, um, I keep keep learning and growing, I guess. Um, yeah. So like I say, I'll pop those pop those things down in the. Um, those links down in the comment section and um i appreciate it if you go check those out all right cheers guys i'll catch you later